Servus. Hi everyone. Hope you are doing good and thanks for coming back. I like to talk about at the moment of Kime. You don't contract and stop. You contract pressure, contraction to center, but extend. Extend outward your energy. And also, look, there's, there's a elongation of your muscles or extension from the flow to the line of technique. But as reaction, you have to differentiate between reaching and extension. Look, from the flow, I'm pressing down, but the inside muscle extend out. Right? So, I create extension as reaction. This way I don't lose my base. If I reach, I become vulnerable. Now, I don't have a base. Right? Very dangerous. Inspiring. And also less power. Right? When you press down to extend out, you see my breathing go two directions. It's press and there go out. And now there is extension, there is more power, but I can easily change direction. Right? And try to practice it in a kata. For example, if I go go to show, show um, now look, don't stop, but don't reach and push. So not for power, just pressure to flow and extension. But not only pressure to flow, also Look, my stomach draws back and there is extension from the back uh, out through both elbows, not just this side. Look, any techniques. Bam, look, I want extension, pressure. You see, I kind of a little exaggerate. Pressure uh, to extend. Stomach draws back to extend. Now the back is engaged also. Right, so any technique you do, Kime, pressure, but extend. Don't reach. Yes. There is a big difference between reaching and extension. Extension inside, make more power and smooth transition. Because you have more potential in this extension. Right, what you don't want is the muscle to contraction and shorten or choking your energy. That's what you don't want. So please practice it through the kata. But it should come into your committee.